hello my beautiful scorpios welcome to my channel this is divine light and today we're gonna do a general reading for your october month of october i'm gonna jump right in we're gonna start with your cup then your saucer we're gonna move on to and at the end we're gonna look into your cards and channeled messages i have a very clean cup here a plate i'm sorry that there is actually a heart on the bottom here and slowly turning into like a bird maybe someone is, who's gonna be bringing you some um good news and it's overall looking really calm and clean okay i initially see here there is a woman sitting on a chunk of money this can be you this can be someone in your life maybe they're going to be gaining um access to something maybe they're going to start um receiving some blessings financial blessings number three is under that number three indicates creativity so this person can be someone creative this can be you by the way as well and your creativity will probably start bringing you some uh good blessings it seems like it's gonna happen really soon it's not going to take too long okay by the way if you go on to enjoy this reading and if you want to connect with the energy don't forget to subscribe it is free you can unsubscribe anytime you want and also i'm going to leave a link up here for private readings if you would like one from me you can go ahead and check that one out i see here there's a cup appearing and there's this person inside of it king you are actually cup energy you are a water sign so there can be another water sign popping up in your life i feel like this can be someone knight of wands a knight of cups i'm sorry knight of cups is a, a faster energy because he travels on the horse can indicate an offer coming forward a love offer someone who uh, will show up with the same energy as you are it can also be a job offer a business offer that will uh, give you a lot of satisfaction and then chunk of money appears this can even have a lot of like uh financial opportunities at the end of it under the chunk of money i see a face of a wolf wolves travels in families so wolf packs usually indicates families seems like here there is uh going to be the structure is going to be like a family environment or um can be like um already established place that has a lot of good structure and when you walk into it you're going to become a part of it you're going to become a family but you're building up a wall right away um to the past and it seems like there's some things in the past now it makes sense your channeled messages uh like you're over and done with we have a sarcophagus come came forth for your channeled messages so i was thinking is this a negative thing I feel like now it's a positive thing. Maybe this is a relationship that you have been dealing with or a situation in your life that has been prolonged for so long. Now you decided to end it completely. You just put an end to it. You just put a, like a period, a dot at the end of it. And now you're moving on to a new, um, you know, a new beginning, a new endeavor. So I see here there are roses. Roses can symbolize actually love. So the new thing coming forward is going to be something you would love to be a part of. You would love to have in your life. We have the sun showing up. Now that is also, it is uh, telling you now is the time to shine, rise and shine. So I feel like this is not only you entering into an environment. I see there's a woman walking slowly down the hill here. Uh, like of your feminine energy with your creative energy. It doesn't have to be male or female. It can be also your a mass a feminine side as well uh, you with the creative passion you're going to be walking down uh, this this new thing this new opportunity coming forth and it is going to be extremely optimistic it is going to have a lot of uh, hopes and the um, also positivity the environment is going to be extremely positive it's going to be uh, uh, contained by extremely positive people and i even see shooting stars so it is going to be like a celebration every day rather than celebration uh, at the end of every task type of a thing okay can be a work environment can be like a new relationship because uh people tend to think um like okay the birthdays are really important anniversaries are really important and what about the rest of the year if you're upset if you're not satisfied on the rest of the year especially in a relationship and it doesn't matter once a year that you get to celebrate something because if you're upset all around it wouldn't really make any difference but if you're celebrating every single day with the same joy um if you are actually appreciated being loved and you're loving 
the other person in the same fire all year round, those days do not really um, carry too much of a value anymore because you're always in the celebration mode, okay? They become special days. Now they become special days. Then you can do a special thing on those days. But if it's once in a year, um, their specialties doesn't really feel that it doesn't really leave that big of a mark, okay? And I see here there's an anchor. This happiness is not going to be for a temporary period of time. It is anchoring into your life. I see the shooting stars coming forward. Within the third week, there are two pathways opening here. I see there's a woman at one path and you are actually negotiating with the first path. And the second path, there's an anchor. And I feel like the second path, these can be about work environment as well. Maybe there's gonna be options given to you and you're gonna be discussing with one option about the person that you're dealing with, maybe HR manager or like whoever is actually handling your case. And the second option has the anchor here. And I feel like that second option can be actually your uh, blessing that is, which is going to be actually for the long term. I see in the, your heart, there's actually a little like, um, maybe a little stress that you're feeling, but then towards the end of the month, it is going to fade away. It's going to go away. And I see that you're holding up a sword here. Sword usually indicates communication. And you're on the, stepping on the back of a person here. So if this is a situation that you're dealing with a person who is actually non-negotiative, basically you're going to make your deal. You're going to make a negotiation at the end of the month, it seems like here, okay? Let's get into your saucer now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. Very light energies here. I even see like a bird flying over to you. A bird can be the good news that you've been waiting for. Your desire, whatever it is, uh, I'm going to say that it has some time. But when the time comes, it's going to happen really easily. For example, if this is like a, maybe a car that you want to buy, a house that you want to purchase, something that you want to own, uh, it seems like here, maybe you didn't really find the perfect place yet, the perfect thing yet, or you don't have the means yet. But the thing is, the universe is ready to deliver it to you and the means are going to be are on the pathway. It seems like, think of it like the chain of events. The chain just started okay the chain of events just started and uh, when the time comes it is going to have like it's going to happen in a split second but you just maybe need to wait for like maybe three or four months for the chain of events to turn around and come to you i see here there's an angel actually watching over this process and is protecting you drawing a circle around you this can be an ancestor a family member and um or maybe someone that you can even get help from, okay? So don't think of it like I'm going to make it happen because the universe is always sending you signs, symbols, people to actually help you make this thing happen. And it seems like the anchor here, this is going to be for the long term when the blessing comes forward. Let's see what's happening in your cards. And if you have like a specific desire and intention, so it is good to hold that in your mind as well when I'm shuffling the cards so we can get like specific answers to that, okay? And uh, let's see what's going on here for you. Okay, the anchoring yourself to the present moment will bring about the future you desire. Ten of Swords. This is actually the sarcophagus moment. Let's say, yes, exactly. Like you are going through maybe something right now, which is actually maybe a little bit painful, dramatic. You're maybe dealing with people that are dramatic. Can be an air sign, air, um, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And it seems like here... This is coming to an end now. It can be, like I said, a little dramatic. This person can be a little bit dramatic. But I feel like here, uh, this ending will bring peace to you because you are done over with this. We had the Queen of Cups. This is your energy. This is your loving, self-sacrificing energy here. Maybe... Uh, I usually go with like maybe you're over sacrificing yourself. You need to be, um, you know, be careful who you're giving, spending your energy because you wouldn't know what's going to come back from them uh, because you're so loving, you're so caring. You want everything, everyone to be okay, but um, not, it doesn't happen all the time. They do not feel the same way that you feel towards them. So be mindful of that. 
also this ending this is you're showing up after the ending i feel like you're going to find peace too here okay it is going to be extremely peaceful for you we have three of pentacles let me tell you if someone is leaving let them go because three three of pentacles a tree of pentacles here we have even a tree here establishes you to for success there are going to be people showing up that are compatible with you that you can create miracles beautiful things success love money you're going to be able to create maybe established uh, businesses whatever it is in your desire in your mind that are going to be given the people the universe will send you the connections that will actually extremely be helpful and you're going to create a successful things with these people six of wands is the victory so whatever that you put your mind to i feel like you put your mind to something you want to create something but it doesn't happen and it doesn't happen a certain way that you're planning but the thing is i feel like the god the creator energy is actually signaling you telling you there's a better way i prepared there's a better options the better people that i will be sending your way so you can actually create this thing as a victory rather than being like a daily random thing okay so if the things the people want to go they want to leave let them go because it seems like here you're gonna have beautiful other blessings coming your way let's see what your um oracle says the space between your lives if you can dream it you can create it basically we have the ankh here with the white rose white rose is a piece in innocence and calmness and this is a Osoboros, I think, this the tail, the snake eating its own tail, which is actually symbolizing the cycle of life. We always going to have a desire, and it's okay. We have the triangle of creation, and the Ankh is actually the symbol of femininity. Like you're about to give birth to a beautiful, amazing new thing. We have Buddha energy again. I think it's just uh, you know, it proves the peace is the key, and we have the full moon. Full moon times are actually releasing the emotions now you might be releasing some emotions some emotions might coming forth um like maybe negative things that you're feeling you have been carrying and it's okay release them because with the ladybug here ladybug is about like appears where love is so try to create and focus on the love um that you want to become you want to feel as this moment because the angels are already bringing your desires to you okay if you can dream it you can create it if you can close your eyes and visualize it you will have it in a moment okay let's see what your animal guys wants to tell you how the chameleon okay the chameleon one of the signs actually got the chameleon with another i think it's libra um got it with another deck a different deck so if you have libra in your chart or if you have someone or if you're cross watching uh you know like go ahead and check that one out as well stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events mm -hmm. so i feel like here ten of swords is an ending something is ending here and if you are trying to stop this thing, this is basically telling you, do not try to stop it. Let it be because everything is working out for your highest good. Know that uh, this is actually going to lead you to your victory, okay? Do not try to change anything. If someone wants to leave, example, uh, let them leave, okay? I want to take this divine will, okay? I feel like these are all random, so I'm going to shuffle it again divine will and blessings number one the beginning of everything relax into pro profound stillness initiate good intention feeling love so basically buddha consciousness if you're meditating if you're praying prayer is also another way to connect with the god meditating is another way to connect with the unlimited un source of energy and basically this is telling you uh relax into that and that will help you heal faster and receive the messages faster we have one and the 31 grace and blessings again double blessings coming your way wait for flowers to open enjoy the golden hour trust your path to be gentle so like i said there's a harsh path in front of you but you're coming to an end to it so if the things are getting harder, know that you're not in the right path, okay? The the right path is actually slower and, uh, I mean, gentler and also um, calmer. 
we have the rain the abundance of the rain and after the rain the roses are blooming actually for you here which is like a beautiful scenery which is the approval of god that today it's raining maybe it's a heavy heavier rain but it is going to bring a lot of abundance the, the lessons that you're learning right now is going to be the source of your abundance okay all right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.